blessings and peace to you. This is SB Favor Thinking Podcast, and my name is SB Favor. How are you doing today? It is Thursday, September 28, 2023. Another wonderful day and another day to be thankful. And as I always say, if you focus on what is good, then you can project something good to happen. Because when you focus on the things that uplift your spirit, it's just better. It's better to focus on what is good than focusing on the things that are not good. It's better than. So focus on what is good. I hope everyone is having a good Thursday. It's a Thursday morning on the East Coast. I decided to do an inspirational quote this morning and i just wanted to give you some updates on some things that i will be doing i was supposed to do an episode early in the week but i didn't do it and so i just want to apologize for those to those that may have been anticipating that episode so um but i i am here today and i just want to give you an inspirational quote and just talk a little bit about it so But before I get into that, I would like to remind you, if you are out there traveling about, make sure you say a prayer. Make sure you keep yourself safe and keep your family members safe. Use your hand sanitizer. And if you need to wear your mask when you need to, make sure you do that, too. I always remind you of these things because I care. Well, my inspirational quote is, guard your mind and heart against negative thoughts. Keep thoughts that will uplift you constantly. That's my inspirational quote for today. I'm going to read it again. Guard your mind and heart against negative thoughts. Keep thoughts that will uplift your spirit constantly. We all sometimes can be subject to negative thoughts. That's just our human nature. We get negative thoughts from negative feelings, we get negative thoughts from just anything that influences us to think negative. But we don't have to stay in that place. When you have a negative thought, you have the power to recognize that you are having a negative thought right in that moment, if you are paying attention. I call it maintenancing your thought life. I I decided to talk about this today because earlier in the week, I was having conversations with my brother about something that he experienced and we both agreed that when you have a negative thought you don't have to agree with it and you don't have to just sit in that space and continue to think negative and i know some people out there are probably thinking oh sb is always talking about negative thinking or thoughts and thoughts thoughts about this and thoughts about that well i have to talk about the dangers of negative thinking. So that is why I always bring that up. I have to talk about it. I have to talk about it because negative thoughts turn into sometimes negative actions. And sometimes, well, not sometimes, negative thinking is just dangerous across the board. There's it's no sometime. It's all the time. Negative thinking can put you in a situation that is not good. So that is why I always talk about negative thinking and the, the, the dangers of it. Because years ago, when I was much younger, I used to uh, uh, think about why people speak so negatively, think negatively. And so when I realized as I got older, I realized that people speak so negatively because of how they think. I started recognizing when I spoke negatively, where it came from. It, it, it came from a place of my thinking. So I decided to ch- change that. So I began a journey of working on myself to change the way I think. I believe that All 
people on all different levels have different types of mindsets. And wh wh whatever your mindset is, negative or positive, it determines your standards. It determines what you allow in your life, your what you tolerate. It determines your choices, your decisions. Yes. And so it, it is important that we recognize how we are thinking. Sometimes when one person is misunderstanding the next person, it comes from how they think. It doesn't come from uh, somebody doing something all the time. A negative thought doesn't always come from someone doing something for the next person to think negative. Sometimes people are just thinking negative because that's a pattern of thinking. And you don't have to be subject to that. Yes, you will have thoughts that are negative sometimes, but you don't have to agree with it. You don't have to sit in that place of negative thinking. The power of thoughts, I believe, it creates situations to be better or even worse. It depends on what you are focusing on. And maintaining your thought life every single day, checking yourself, doing self-inventory, um, paying attention closely to what you are thinking and what you are feeling, then you can recognize where you are. What, what are you thinking? You can recognize what you need to change. A lot of times, some people, they blame others for what they do or they blame others for uh, the way they are. But we, we must take responsibility for ourselves as individuals. When we take responsibility for ourselves as individuals, then we get to see what we are doing and what we need to do as individuals. Yes, people can influence the next person. But as an individual, we get to, to decide if we want to follow something that may be influencing us, whether it be negative or positive but the whole point of what i'm saying is, is this we have to constantly daily maintenance our thought life i don't care where you live i don't care how old you are i don't care how much money you have and, and i don't care about your education background we all have to maintenance our thought life when you maintenance your thought life every single day then you get to see what you are thinking and how and why. And when I say maintenance, I'm talking about being aware of something to change it. Because if you are not aware of something, how are you going to change it? Bad habits come from how you think. Misunderstandings come from how you think, misunderstanding someone, underestimating someone. It comes from how you think. Not communicating well or thinking of, thinking about something that's not real. Accusing someone. It comes from how you think. How you think plays an important part of your daily life. It plays an important part in terms of whether you are successful or are you failing. It plays an important part to determine your attitude, how you treat others, how you respond, how you react, your thought life. Your thought life is important enough to recognize what is valuable and what is not valuable to ponder on, to think about. Because some people live a life of constantly thinking negative. 
They everything you say to them, it doesn't matter how nice you are to them, it doesn't matter how good things are going, they just constantly think negative. And we don't have to do that. We dishonor our own self when we think negative. We dishonor ourselves when we think negative. We don't have to sit and just think about all that is going wrong. Even when you have problems and even when you have situations that are happening that may not be favorable, you don't have to focus on it and just bask and think about, oh, why this happened and when and, and, and when is it going to get better? Yes, 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 you are human. And, and, and some thoughts that we have are just common. But what I'm saying is this. You have the power to change how you think. You have the power to to do that. Before you go to bed at night, when you wake up in the morning, you have the power to change how you think. The minute you open your eyes and you get a thought in that moment, in that moment, ask yourself the question, what are you thinking about? What is your meditation? What is your focus when you wake up in the morning? What is your focus when you go to bed at night? What is your focus throughout the day? What is your focus? Ask yourself that question. When you ask yourself that question, write it down and be honest with yourself, you will get an answer. And whatever answer you get, ask yourself this question. How can I change how I think? How can I change it? Well, it first starts with shifting your mindset. And how do you shift your mindset? When you get a negative thought, focus on something else that is good. Counteract that thought. Yes. Counteract that thought. Don't just think about it. Think about something negative and stay in that place. Because when you stay in that place of whatever that thought is, guess what? It takes you into another place that's even more negative. So stay focused throughout your day. Stay focused in the very moment. That's another thing I always talk about, staying focused. The reason why I always talk about staying focused is because distraction is an enemy. If you are not paying attention to what is important in the moment, and if you are not paying attention to the very moment, what what are you paying attention to? What is distracting you? What is what is distracting you? Ask yourself that question. I know I sound a little passionate. And I can't this because this is something that is very important to me. Over the last 15, 20 years, I have constantly studied the mind and read books. And and even in college, I I took social uh, sciences to understand why people do what they do. The first lesson about learning about why people do what they do, I had to apply it to myself. Why did why did I commit some of the mistakes that I committed? Why did I why did I fail in certain areas in my life? Why did I do things that were not good? Why? Well, I can honestly say those things came from the way I thought. And I'm not saying that we should be perfect and you can't make mistakes. All of us make mistakes because that's just our human nature. But what I'm saying is this. If you are living a life and you're not maintaining your thought life to pay attention to the moment, to see where you are, what I say, see where you are, I'm talking about how you are thinking In that moment, you should be paying attention to yourself 
to see what you are thinking. People are so quick to look on the outside and point the finger at everything around them, but they never look at themselves on the inside. And when you pay attention to your own thought life, then you get to see where you are. You get to see how you respond, how you have been responding. Sometimes when you pay attention to your thought life, you get to see the patterns that you created over time. Patterns of thinking. Patterns of thinking about a race, a people. Patterns of thinking about a, a particular person. Patterns of thinking about certain situations or circumstances. You get to see what you're made of from your thoughts. When you get a negative thought, you don't have to agree with it. Some people don't like the next person for no reason. They look at someone and say, oh, I, I don't like her. I never liked her. Why? If you never spoke to a person or if you never had a conversation with the person, how like somebody you've never talked to? You know why? Because it comes from the way you think. It comes from the way you think. In order to change the way you think, you have to be honest with yourself. You have to be so honest with yourself. And being honest with yourself is to be honest with God. And the reason why I say is to be honest with God, because God is always trying to help us to be better than we were yesterday. He's always trying to help us to get to another place to be better. And the only way you can get to the place to be better is to be honest with yourself. A blame-shifting person always blames others for what they are doing wrong. They never take responsibility for themselves. And do you know why they blame everything on others? It's because the way they think. They don't see the fault within themselves. There is nothing wrong with being honest with yourself to see where you need to change, to see what areas you need to grow. There's nothing wrong with seeing what area needs to be better. When you observe to take inventory of yourself, forgive yourself. Give yourself grace. Accept your flaws, accept your failures, accept your bad decision making, accept it all. Accept it all to bring about a change. I'm not saying accept it to feel guilty, accept it to feel bad about yourself. I'm saying accept it all to bring about a change because when you accept it, that's part of your honesty to say, yes, I did this and yes, I am willing to change. Yes, I did this. And yes, I am willing to change. And the first thing you must do in that moment, when you are honest with yourself, the first thing you must do is check out how you think of yourself, what you think of others, and examine to see if your thought patterns are negative. I am not saying that you should walk around and be a robot and just act like you are perfect. But what I am saying is when you examine yourself and you are honest with yourself, a change can come because God is always presenting the opportunity to be healed. He is always presenting that opportunity to us. But it starts with how you think. If someone's trying to help you and you can't receive instruction or correction, ask yourself why. Ask yourself why you can't receive instruction or correction. 
Why do you have such a defensive or hostile attitude when somebody's trying to help you? Ask yourself that question. It comes from how we think. So many of us, so many of us are thinking the wrong way and we must do something about it. We must change how we think. We must not take on generational negative thinking. And when I say generational, I'm talking about how how your grandma thought and how your mom thought and how your grandfather and how your, your aunts taking on behaviors that are not good, behaviors that are not beneficial. We, we must examine those things. Ask yourself the question. When you sit and you think about someone, someone you know or someone you don't know, ask yourself the question, am I thinking healthy? Or are, are these thoughts not healthy? Now, when someone does something wrong and you clearly see that they've done something or said something wrong, yes, you want to see it exactly for what it is. But to sit and just think about something or someone constantly negatively is completely unhealthy. People walk around with thoughts of rejection so much that they will project the rejection that they are thinking onto others. And they will think that people are rejecting them, but the rejection is coming from what they are thinking. So everything I'm saying to you, it comes down to this. I hope that you first and foremost understand what I'm saying, that you take note of what I'm saying, whether you agree or don't agree, just take note and, and just check it to be what it's supposed to be. Is it true or is it false? Check it for what it is. And if it applies to you in some area, if it can help you in some area, then just be honest with yourself. I am going to read the inspirational quote one more time. This is my inspirational quote for today. And my inspirational quote is, guard your mind and heart against negative thoughts. Keep thoughts that will uplift your spirit constantly. It's a simple inspirational quote, but it is a reminder that in this day, we must maintenance our life. Maintenancing your thought life has everything to do with recognizing and seeing where you are in the moment, being honest to see what you are thinking. When you do that by taking self-inventory, then you will start to flow on a path of healing because you will start to get rid of thoughts and behaviors and habits that you do not need and the things that are not beneficial. So I hope that I made you think about something because that is the reason why this podcast has been named SB Favorite Thinking Podcast because I think about things I like to share with others. And I hope that you are inspired today. I hope that you stay uplifted today. I hope that you have a good day focused on what is good. I pray for you that you be successful in every way today and that you keep your focus on all the things that help you to be a better person. I thank you so much for tuning in to take the time to listen to SB Favorite Thinking Podcast. If you would like to give to the podcast, you can give at Cash App, Dollar Sign, SB Favor. I thank you so much for your support and your donations. You can also give at Venmo at SB Favor. Please like, share, and 
subscribe to my YouTube channel or wherever you listen to podcasts. I'm on Spotify, Apple, uh, Amazon Audible, CastBox, wherever you listen to podcasts, I am there. And like I said, please like, share, and subscribe. Subscribe here on my YouTube channel. And make sure you leave me some feedback. I like to know what you're thinking. I like to know if you agree or disagree with what I said. But don't write anything negative. Because if you write something negative, I'm going to delete it. I don't respond to what is negative. So like I said, make sure you subscribe, like, and share this podcast with others. Thank you so much for listening. And if you need to reach me, you can reach me at sbfavor at yahoo.com via email. You can also find me on Facebook, X, TikTok, Instagram, and YouTube. Please subscribe, like, and share. Thank you so much for listening, and you have a good day.